My name is Arun and I am the driver and I'm sick again. So that's why you get this version of me. But welcome to Driven Diary episode 24. What is Driven Diary? It's a documentation of my life as I work to build a billion dollar automotive services empire with Driven Auto Care. In this week's video, I sell three cars in two days. I hire a new guy who really transforms my role in the business and I take yet another trip to yet another city in the US. Let's get to the video. Monday evening. Monday evening. 6.37, 6.38pm. Whew. Wiped out. Uh, so new guy started today. New guy started today and he survived the day and it actually doesn't look so bad. Not the best approach I should be taking verbally, I guess, but <clears throat> you know, uh, I think it's going to work for, for a little bit. And, uh, look, I, I am, I gotta be careful with the YouTube because obviously this is all public, publicly viewable. Uh, if, if anybody who works for me watches these, you'll know, you know, who I'm talking about and what I'm talking about. So I'm trying to be a little bit careful. Um, but I still want to keep documenting everything that's going on. So I'm, I'm trying to be honest about everything here. So uh, we, we had a very, very rigorous first day of training and discussion. And he asked me a lot of very hard questions about, you know, why are you doing this this way? Why are you not doing this? Do you think you should have something in place here? And in a lot of cases, we got a lot of work to do. And it's crazy to think of how far we've come, you know, and, and I'm very proud of the progress that we've made. But if we want to get anywhere, then this is the sort of pressure I need to put on myself in order to continue growing. So I'm a little bit stressed and I've got a big old to-do list here and I'm sitting here at 6.40 at night and it's the first time I've been able to film all day and we sold a lot of work for customers and we're just gonna keep going. That's all I can do is march forwards. And uh, I have a meeting with my coach tomorrow, which I'm very grateful for, but I also have to fly to LA tomorrow for two days. So I'm flying to LA got meetings for two days and then I'm back here, but the new guy is going to be on his own. Basically, fortunately I have other experienced people here who can help cover, but man, it's really not ideal, but we're going to make it work. <clears throat> um, so that's all I got for this evening. I think I'm, I've not eaten in 12 hours. Uh, I haven't really stopped to think I missed a lot of phone calls today. I, I barely wedged in everything I felt I had to. I've returned all the calls I needed to return. I'm sitting here at 6.40 and my inbox is finally cleaned out and I'm staring at my to-do list for the rest of the day. I'm gonna get to it, I guess. Nothing else to do but to do it. <laughs> That's it for Monday. <clears throat> Tuesday morning and I'm not in the shop. I'm in LA. And I don't think I've ever checked into a hotel room before 9.30 in the morning before ever, but got to do that today. Flew down here, and I've got meetings from 11.30 through dinner, and then I have meetings from 8 till, actually 6.30 a.m. until about 3 tomorrow, and then I will fly back home. So, yet another couple of days of confidential meetings, but this is part of my business and it's kind of unfortunate I can't share more details about it but that is the nature of the beast and I think I'm gonna get some breakfast room service because you know why not <laughs> uh and then I'm I'm gonna work for a couple hours and then head out to these meetings so that's it for today I probably maybe I'll get back on later I don't know I'm aware these videos get kind of boring and that the YouTube videos themselves don't actually get very many views, but I still appreciate 
myself for doing this and persisting with it through acknowledging that shortfall. And the phone is sliding. My phone got sick of me bitching. Talk to you later. Wednesday morning. Just another day of there ain't nobody else here. And I'm texting with my team 5.30 in the morning about the, what's going on at the shop. We got meetings all day today, flying back home. Good shit ahead. Keep it going. Just a few things we're getting. How do you feel about it, Corp? Thursday morning, and we are doing a lot of professionalization in this shop, and I like it. So I've been gone for two days, but my new guy started. He's coming from a larger chain organization that does have more of the professionalism that we want to implement here, and we are rigorously implementing that professionalism. So I just had a great team meeting going over kind of what it's going to look like and why uh, we need to do it and also introduced a new performance pay plan. So with all that said, we're going to keep on grinding. And we made a thousand dollar Amazon order for a lot of professionalization items. That's it for now. Friday morning. And I have been very bad about recording this week. It's going to be a short video. Uh, and that's okay. But I want to document right now a mindset shift that I feel like I'm experiencing. Uh, I've brought in a guy who can, who seemingly, so far at least, can lead this individual location to success with good like practices, good policies, good processes, standards, initiative, leadership which eliminated one of my jobs. And I love that job. I love talking to customers. I love selling automotive service, but that is not my job. My job is to run this company, to lead this company, to grow this company. Uh, and that version of me that gets all excited about a single car, that spends a lot of time specking out shit for a customer, that version of me has to die so that the leadership version of me that I have been so desperately seeking for months can emerge. And I feel it happening. I feel myself being more confident to call and lead meetings quickly, to facilitate conversations between my team, to make decisions that truly impact the progress that we're making, the, the direction that we're going. So I'm grateful for that. I just watched a, a reel during my, my deadlift workout uh, that was going over that, that the, to, to realize a better version of yourself, the current version of yourself has to die. So acknowledging that, acknowledging my mindset this morning. Friday is always a good day. Friday always is just very energizing and powerful. So. With that, finish my workout, get to work, let's fucking go. So you just saw two things. You saw a transfer case that had a hole blown in it. That was off that Mazda I showed you last week. Customer loved it. They actually ended up fixing it, paying for it, getting the job done. I did not end up buying that car. And then the second thing you saw was a list of my monthly recurring expenses. And it is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 25 lines of recurring expenses. And furthermore, in doing this audit, I also learned uh, that I am on a prepayment schedule for sales tax and that I'm being penalized because I haven't been prepaying, but I'm requesting relief for that and I have to start prepaying my sales tax. And if I get it wrong, based on my own calculations, then I get penalized and the government wants my money sooner now. And that's just, 
that's whatever. That's his own thing. They're not going to let me, you know, sit on sales tax money for any amount of time, any amount of time at all. Um, but this is a great sort of work I'm getting to do now, just uh, getting on top of finances, getting on top of the business. So I'm, I'm loving being able to do this kind of work, really stepping into the leadership role, really facilitating the things that need to happen in this shop to make us successful. So with that, get back to fucking work. Cash from customers this week. So I haven't needed to come here for any of that. And then uh, I haven't sold a car in a while, but I sold a car today. I sold a car this evening. I sold the S55 and I'm quite glad I did because that car was actually my car as opposed to a business asset. And because of that, it means the money doesn't get sunk in to driven auto care as a lot of money has been doing lately. Um, and frankly, we just closed my best week ever at Driven Auto Care. So I feel a little more secure. I feel like I don't have to save the money and put it into the business and I can actually have it for myself. So that's where we're at now. Saturday morning. And I don't know what's going on here. From the darkness. That car just being abandoned on the side of the road like that's a little sketchy. Um, so as I was saying last night, we had our best week, I believe, in Driven Auto Care history. And it was a combination of things that led to that. But uh, I'm very excited for the prospects of what is to come this year. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, I'm just gonna keep, uh, keep working. I know what I need to do a lot more clearly now than I did two weeks ago when I was pulling my hair out thinking I need to step up as a leader. I'm finally actually doing it. Um, so let's keep going. I'll spare you any more darkness rambling. Talk to you later. Saturday morning at the shop, we got some car records updating to do because we got people coming to look at that for sale. I sold the S55 yesterday, as you saw me at the bank, and then I sold the Crown Vic this morning. But I want to show you something about the S55. So I, I named it Wagner. I don't normally name cars, but I named it uh, Wagner the S55, as you can see right there. Purchased November 24th for three grand. I put $1,500 into it, transported it down, so I was $2,500 into it. Uh, but technically the, the $1,500 bill was zero cost to me. Um, and then no parts paid. So there's my total investment technically. I sold it for $3,900. So technically my cost of ownership was 1,600 bucks per mile cost, $12. Oof, that one hurts. And you know, this is sometimes the life of a, of a car guy. Like I bought that car totally intending to keep it and at least put some miles on it, but I put 134 miles on it in three months and then sold it. So uh, I realized I didn't want a time bomb sitting up in Seattle with uh, you know a potential $10,000 repair anytime you turn it on. Uh, so I got rid of it to somebody who's actually gonna enjoy it. Crown Vic was a much, much better sale. I made 50% profit on that one. Um, so that one's, that one's gone. I put very little effort into it and sold it very quickly. So it's when you win some, you lose some. And, uh, now the shop is actually clear of my cars, which is great because we got a ton of work coming in. Uh, so I'm, I'm just wrapping up here, doing a little work this morning. going to go to the dog park. going to do some, some Alcoholics Anonymous work today. Um, I'm going to hang out with my wife. So just a little bit of work, podcasting, YouTube video tomorrow, um, but I'm gonna have a whole lot of free time. Evelyn's gonna be uh, going on a, a, out of the country for about 10 days. So I will have a lot of free time coming up here. Um, but all is well, plenty more work to do. Well, and that last clip you saw from Saturday was basically right before I started getting sick and, and that's how I spent all day Sunday. And now I'm here on Monday morning shooting the final clips for Driven Diary episode 24. But thank you so much for watching. Just a quick update. 
I did actually end up selling the Suburban. And so I sold the S55 on Friday night, the Crown Vic on Saturday morning, and the Suburban on Saturday afternoon. It was a very, very lucrative couple of days. Although, as you saw with the S55, the economics of my personal cars generally does not work out the same way as the economics on my business cars. I've made uh, over five figures flipping uh, the cars that you've kind of seen me go through within the business, but I've probably lost about that much with how much I've invested into those two personal cars, especially without really seeing any return. That's how it goes sometimes. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I suggest, actually, I insist that you subscribe because you don't want to miss upcoming weekly Driven Diary episodes. You will get a better version of me that's not sick and not recording an intro on my phone at my desk in my home office, but that's how it goes sometimes. Leave a comment, tell me what feedback you have on this week's episode, and share it with anybody who you think would also benefit from seeing the documentation from the Driven Diary. Till next week, stay driven.